Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family from downtown San Jose. Um, so if you're looking for, you know, where to go in Costa Rica, where to go in San Jose, I'm exploring this city myself, although I live here for four years already. Sometimes we need to do, to run errands in San Jose. Perhaps you just had a flight, you have, um, uh, I don't know, you want to spend some time here, but you have no clue where to go. Well, I discovered this amazing place. I will tell you all about it. It's downtown in San Jose. And I will tell you also exactly the location so you can see for yourself if you like it. Um, we are having lunch here before we uh, have access to our Airbnb. And um, if you wonder why are you making videos, Muriel, about Costa Rica? Who are you if I'm new to you? Well, welcome to my channel. I am Dutch. I moved to Costa Rica in 2018 and I have an online business. If you're curious on learning how to set up your own online business, there's always um, uh, the option to scroll down to the description below my videos to check out one of the links. Um, but you know what? I made a very short video, one minute about myself a little bit so you can learn a little bit more about me. And then let's continue with today's content. that I found on Google because I was looking for good internet places where they sell good coffee in San Jose because we have to wait an hour before we can enter our Airbnb so I wanted to share what I found uh, this place I found it at, under the name La Mancha I will post the information below this video of course and so far I'm, I'm here for five minutes you see my daughter behind me she's chatting with her friends in the Netherlands uh, that it is so spacious and it's downtown San Jose now in my previous video I also shared from my other Airbnb we're hopping around from Airbnb to Airbnb because the flight got delayed etc etc that's for another video um, I found out for myself that I don't know so many places in downtown San Jose so I thought you know what let's pick an Airbnb in this area also because I will be traveling back by bus it's always reliable by bus public bus in the rainy season and I love to get kind of a good chance that I will be home so if there's a big storm the domestic flights won't go and this is around the corner of the terminal 5 slash 7 in downtown San Jose if you want to take the public bus so for getting around in San Jose this is also a good tip the the, the public local buses they are awesome you know they have often a Wi-Fi air conditioning it's it's arranged really well of course domestic flights are faster but like I said a rainy season it's not a guarantee that your flight will will depart at the scheduled time often the flights change depending on the weather so yeah and uh, from some viewers on my channel I also got some requests like can you just share a little bit more when you're getting around? Can you show where you're hanging out? So I think this is really valuable information if you are coming to San Jose, if you're coming to Costa Rica as an expat and you need sometimes, you cannot just avoid it, but you sometimes need to be in San Jose, you know, for, I don't know, uh, it could be anything um, that you know some cool places to go. And if you know some cool places to go that I probably don't know about, please leave your comments below uh, and I'll love to learn from your experiences. I think 
so tomorrow I have to no before I depart when, when my bus departs I have some time to fill in between the checkout time of my Airbnb and before my bus leaves at 2 30 um, in the daytime I think I'm going to do some work here actually I must do some work here or somewhere but I think the internet connection is pretty well because Sam is chatting live with someone in the Netherlands right now over WhatsApp video call I have some coaching uh, students tomorrow uh, and since my whole schedule was turned upside down because of different departure times of Sam's flight I'm going to do um, a coaching um, call with two of my students that I have scheduled for Friday and uh, I also have an orientation call for someone who's interested to find out if my programs are the right fit perfect spot to do this so I think it is, let me just show you around how it looks like from the outside so you know how to well actually I don't think that you could find this place it, without knowing it uh, if I would not have googled it and checked it out yesterday evening I would never by strolling through San Jose city downtown center you will probably not discover this and this is why so this is how it looks like from the street and then let, let me just show you hold on <laughs> okay so to wrap this video up uh, I just decided to ask my daughter she's 18 and has a specific view on things uh, what was her first impression? What Sam? Hi. <laughs> Honestly, one of the like nicest cultural places that I've seen in the city. It's really like old. It kind of reminds me of like an old train station. The Wi-Fi is really good. There's this really cute place behind me with like old cacao place or, or like old uh, cacao bean stuff. And, like, I, don't, I don't know how to say it properly, but yeah, it's just a really cute place to kind of hang out. Like my words, really aesthetic. Like I really like it. Here. <laughs> Okay. A really good sandwich too. Yeah, so the food is great. So it's a combination of several restaurants or a bar. There's even a bar upstairs. I'm gonna check it out tomorrow. So I think it's just worth to just walk in, check it out. If you have a layover, if you have to wait until your Airbnb gives you access, if you have to wait for your bus to leave, if you just want to explore downtown San Jose, if you're Googling right now or YouTubing, getting around in Costa Rica, where to go in San Jose. I hope that my, my video helped you to get a new idea and to find this place and to enjoy that you can enjoy your time here. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you think I deserve it, thanks for the so thumbs up, the share, of course, if you think someone else can benefit. And who knows, um, perhaps we're gonna bump into each other somewhere in Costa Rica. Thanks for watching. This was Muriel, ciao.